This is Kathleen with Carven Tag and Title Service located at 7000 Belair Road, Baltimore, Maryland. Zip code is 21206. Our phone number is 410-668-6000. Website is www.carventagtitle.com. Hours are Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 7 and then 12 to 6 on Sunday. Uh, today, I want to talk about how to register a vehicle with a lien. This is like when someone buys a car and there's a lien. You know, a lien is going to be on that vehicle. This applies to most people who go out of state to buy cars and they come to Maryland, you know, to their state, you know, to register such a vehicle. Most times when uh, an individual buys a car from a dealership, they don't come to us. The dealer will process everything. So some people come here and they're like acting confused. They don't know what's going on. So most cases is that we get them from out of state. Like you go to Virginia to buy a car. Virginia can register the vehicle. So they will give you the paperwork. Sometimes they give you the paperwork and sometimes they don't. Depend on how much they, you paid for the vehicle. So uh, when you come here and there's a lien going on the vehicle. First of all, I'm going to ask you for the paperwork. The first thing I'll be asking for will be the title. Here in the state of Maryland, it could be a Maryland title, even though the person purchased the vehicle from Virginia. It could be Maryland, it could be any state, and it also could be Virginia title. So here in the state of Maryland, if someone is coming to me to register a vehicle that, that, that has a lien, first of all, I look at the title coming in, coming to me. The title, I have to make sure there's no lien on that title that you're presenting to me. And how do I know? I look on the on here. If there's a lien, you will see uh, West Fargo, West Lake, Navy, Credit Union, or APG Bank, or whatever. Or it could be any institution. But if there's something written here, see where it says lien? On here, it will have the lender's information. So if this is clean and clear, then... I don't worry about the lien release. So the next thing I'll be asking the individual if they purchase, yeah, definitely it has to be a dealer. So I will be asking for the uh, dealer reassignment, dealer bill of sale, odometer disclosure. Sometimes they give you power of attorney here and there, and then they give you what else or whatever you know, and then and whatever is associated with that uh, uh, registration or that uh, title. So usually before you guys come to us, these people, they're supposed to go online to download the VIN, I mean, what is it called? Security interest filing statement. This is a form that shows that there's going to be a lien. Some dealerships or some out-of-state dealers don't even know they have to download these forms, you know, before bringing the paperwork to us. So what they do, they use the bill of sale. If you're not careful too, you, you might not be able to catch it. So usually when people walk in here and I see the vehicle has got a lot of money, I'll ask them, did you pay cash? Some of them will lie to you. They'll take out some of the paperwork and lie to you. So you have to pay attention to the bill of sale. Bill of sale will tell you more. And also the title, sometimes they forget to put it on the title. So I ask questions until I'm able to, I say, okay, if, you, if there's a lien, I need the contract. I have to see everything. So sometimes the dealers, they're supposed to go online and print out VR217, which is them filing, you know, like letting us know, like it says uh, security interest filing statement. This shows that there's going to be a lien on the vehicle. Some dealers don't do it. So when people come here, oh, we, we rely on the bill of sale and then the title, sometimes they put it, sometimes they don't put it. So I ask questions until I'm able to get all this information. So they're supposed to fill out VR1. 27 this is like is the, is the lender telling us they're putting a lien on this individual and then the lender will sign and then we'll give the form we'll attach it to the rest of the paperwork and also they're supposed to fill out vr one uh, as vr 005 this is where they put the customer's information if there's two if there are two owners they'll put the other the first person here the primary owner and then the second individual will be on this side and then here we put the vehicle information, whether used, definitely it has to be used. And then they put the make, model, VIN number and everything. And then on here, this is where the lien information is. So they're supposed to download this form. Most of them don't fill out these forms, you know. They'll just sign the title and then put the lien holder maybe on the bill of sale. 
someone that is Russian might not be able to catch it. Me, when I see a lot of money, I always pay attention, you know. So this is where the lender is supposed to give us the information. It will give us the name of the lender, uh, the dealer. Yeah, it's supposed to give us the lender, the company that is financing the the tire, the loan. And then you give us the name, address, how much the uh, the loan amount, and then the date of the lien. Supposed to give it there. And then over here they put the amount. You paid forty thousand or twenty thousand or fifteen thousand. You put that amount here, and then you break it down. You calculate six percent of that amount and put it where it says taxable amount. And then up down here is gonna ask whether you're doing a transfer or a new ti new title and tax. You select which applies to you. Put the insurance information, uh, the insurance company, you put the policy number, and then give me the odometer. The dealer is supposed to put the odometer here, and then the customer will sign and date. They don't bring us, some of them don't bring, they don't even feed this out, you know. So, this is the, you have three forms to uh, complete. I mean, the dealer has three forms to complete, but some of them don't complete it. And then the third one now will be the VR. 129 VR129 is that person waving the inspection until the 30th day. If you buy a car from Virginia, Virginia will not give you the inspection because the inspection will not fly here in the state of Maryland. The inspection is no good to you. So when you bring that vehicle here, if you have a temp tag, some people use the temp tag to go get the vehicle inspected and then when they come into us, they bring us the inspection. If you're bringing me the inspection, you don't have to worry about this form. You worry about this too. But if... Um, you're not bringing me the inspection, you have to, yeah, I'll give you this if the lender forgot to give you this form. When you get here, I'm going to give you. This is you uh, waiving the inspection until the 30th day, meaning I'm giving you 30 days. And once I give you the 30 days, you have to go get inspected and then come back to pay for your registration. Your re uh, registration. Yes, that's correct. Uh -huh. So the dealer is supposed to complete this. So in short, most times they don't complete. They don't feel like they'll just sign the paperwork and give you. So here, my system will generate this for you. So you put the customer's name, uh, odometer, you put the insurance information, and then the person will sign. And then by then, the system will select the expiration date. You will put the, you will count 30 days from that date of registration and uh, we'll print it here. And then once I give you this, all you do, I'll tell you, okay, you have 30 days to get the vehicle inspected. And if you agree, I'll have you sign, date, and then print. So that's it for the forms. Like I said, three forms you need to do this. You need a form VR217 to add a lien. Then you have VR005. This is you applying for a new title. And then this is you waiving the inspection. You waiving the inspection until the 30th day. <clears throat> Once I must have collected the information, I'll put the information in the system. Make sure the, lien, the lender whoever is financing that vehicle i have that person in my database if i have the person in my database i'll proceed with the registration sometimes we don't have that company it might be a new company that needs to be added so in that case you have to call the lender i mean the dealership and tell the dealer there's a form they're supposed to fill out you know to fax to mva they fax that form to mva i think it's adding a lien adding a, a a, a, a lender to their database you know that's if you have not if you're not in our database so that's what you will do if you're not in my database there's no way for me to proceed with that registration but if you're not you call the lender the lender will uh, fill out that form send the information to mva and give it like who knows three to five business days in order for them to enter it in the system so once they enter it into the system i'll be able to see that uh, lender and then you bring your paperwork and I'll go through with the registration. So once I've verified the title and there's no lien here, I will ask for the dealer reassignment and then dealer bill of sale. Make sure you have the dealer bill of sale. Sometimes the lender might not, uh, the dealership might not fill out this form. So you, uh, the bill of sale will be your guide, you know, to make sure that you record the lien. Because if you don't record the lien, that's a problem for, the, for you and for for the lender that is borrowing that money so once i must have uh, entered all this information in the system the system will print me two forms vr005 which is application for certificate of title this is you applying for a new title so by the time i give you this all i've been needing you to do is to verify all your information make sure the address is correct 
you know, you see all the information, the lender will be here, your vehicle information, the amount you paid for the vehicle, all the information will be here. All you need to do I, when I give you this is for you to tell me everything is correct. And if everything is correct, I will have you sign here and then print. Yeah, you only sign because the system probably must, yeah, must have generated your name next to it and then you put today's date this is you applying for a new title and then the second uh, form my system will generate will be vr 129 this is like when you don't bring me the inspection so the system is not giving you is now having you to waive the inspection until the 30th day so when i give you this you verify the information i'll tell you the expiration date i'll tell you look you have so and so day to get the vehicle inspected if you agree i have you sign i have you print your name and then have you date it so once you must have uh, completed this, then I'll tell you how much your total is. You pay me. If you pay me with a credit card, we charge 3% on uh, whether ATM or whatever, we charge 3% on this chip. And then also you sign on my clipboard. And once you finish, I'm going to give you your plate. Your plate should look like this, something like this. The... Uh, month will be on this side and then the year will be on the left and then it will be good for 30 days when i give you this plate it will be your permanent plate and uh, once you inspect the vehicle and you bring me the inspection you're going to keep the same plate the only thing that will change will be the year sticker if you pay for two years we'll give you two years sticker you pay for one year we'll give you one year sticker so once i give you this plate i'm gonna give you your registration card your registration card is gonna be on this uh folder on this uh, pamphlet or whatever you call it yeah on this thing and then you have 30 days so the expiration i'll show you the expiration date that you have 30 days to go get this vehicle ins uh, inspected when i give you this plate you have to call your inspector you know schedule for the inspection right away that way if you have to fix something you have enough time to fix it so once i register the vehicle once i register the vehicle and you get your title in the mail your title will have no. Yes, the title will have the lender's information here. If yeah, if the lender who financed your vehicle probably was uh, it, no, if the if lender whoever the lender that financed your vehicle is gonna have the company name printed here, meaning there's a lien on the vehicle. So in order for you to sell this vehicle, you must pay off on the lien, call the lender to give you the lien release in order for you to sell it to someone. If you don't have the lien release, you're not able to sell it. To that person so when they send you the lien release make sure you attach the lien release with your title with the title because they go together if you don't go if they don't yeah if you don't have the order you can you can register the vehicle so i mean you can't sell it to someone else so you must have the lien release and then attach it to the title so that when you're selling the vehicle you have the lien release to give it to the individual so this will end the video if you have any questions please give me a call at 410-668-6000 thank you and have a nice day